Hey everybody, thanks again for joining us in the Stogie Den. I am Cigar Titan, joined once again by my good friend, Brother Stogie. Say hello to the people. What up, Cigar family? And it is officially springtime, and that means sun's out, sun's out. Longer days, warmer nights. Gas prices are increasing, traffic is now bumper to bumper, and everything just seems to be moving just a lot faster these days. So today's video is gonna be more about how do you keep your mind clear? How do you stay motivated? How do you clear your mind? And how can cigars help you do that? You ready to get started? Let's rock. Hey everybody, welcome back. But before we get started, any good cigar smoking experience has to start with two things. A cut and a light. Let's get these stogies fired up. Let's do it. Well, I'm not sure the cigar is supposed to spark like that. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody's playing an April Fool's joke on me. Put one of those exploding cigars in my humidor. Where we go? The flowers on you in the front. <laughs> Seriously, my fucking cigar is sparking. What the hell is it loaded with TNT? Like what? Why would a cigar spark? If it's not gonna blow up in your face, why would? Why would? A cigarca, you never know. It's, a, it's like a sparka or something. Cigarca. <laughs> So with the longer days and time moving ever faster and faster, it's sometimes hard to keep a clear mind. How do you keep yourself motivated? That's gonna be the topic of today's video. So Brother Stogie, with so much going on these days with work, family, friends, how do you keep it all together? How do you keep your, your mind clear? How do you keep yourself motivated? After a long week of hard work, dealing with family, dealing with kids, doing practices with the kids, solo time, is my time. And during that time, I take my time out to get a stogie, cut it, light it, and just kind of be by myself. Take the time to gather all my thoughts, probably what's been stressing me out from the previous days in the week, and just kind of marinate on it. Find some way to release it. So Rose, I know primarily for work, you are on the road throughout the day. How do you keep your mind together being in traffic all day long? I do my best really to take advantage of the time that I have on the road uh, by myself. That's usually the time that I spend kind of reflecting on the day, what I've got planned for the rest of the week. A lot of the times what I'll do on the road is I'll listen to either books on tape or some type of a podcast, something that keeps my mind engaged. I'm a firm believer in making sure that you exercise your mind. If you don't use it, you lose it. I like to keep my mind healthy, sharp, and I find that indulging or uh, involving myself in things like audiobooks and podcasts tend to keep me up to speed on current events and I love to learn. So. And so for those of you who don't like to fall asleep while you're in traffic bumper to bumper, hey, turn on some jams. Turn on your favorite country station. Turn on your favorite whatever you listen to. And, you know, thanks for rock out while you're in traffic. You know, don't be <laughs> sad and gloomy with the road rage. Keep yourself happy. That's how you stay from getting stressed out while in traffic. Avoid the road rage at all costs. Another way I keep myself with a clear mind is by being active. One of my favorite things to do outside of smoking stogies is hitting the gym. That is one place where I can go. I can walk in the middle of the green where the kettlebells are, where the sleds are. I can take a moment and pause, figure out what I'm gonna do. Nothing else matters at that point. Work doesn't matter, family doesn't matter. Only thing that matters is what I'm getting ready to do at that moment and that smash some weights, baby. And don't let this hulking chest and these bulging biceps fool you. I may not spend as much time in the gym as Brother Stogie, but it is a favorite pastime of mine. I do like to get in there because I do feel that having a healthy mind followed by a good cigar leads to a much healthier outlook on life. I have a lot more energy to get me throughout the day and it keeps me motivated. Now some critics might come and say, bro, you can't smoke and go to the gym at the same time. That's bad for your health. That's not true. I live a very healthy lifestyle and I smoke socially. It has no effect on me working out. I smash the gym each and every time I go. Do me a favor and take that. It's starting to get heavy. All right. <laughs> so another good habit to have is to spend some time with the people you love or the people you care about or like 
or have lukewarm feelings for. You got to love them. <laughs> but you should surround yourself with like-minded individuals. It definitely helps clear your mind. But sometimes it's better just to get away from the people from work and get with friends you don't have to work with. That way you can laugh. <laughs> it can be genuine, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> there really is nothing better than spending time together with the people you care most about. Spending that time together, sharing different life experiences, sharing ideas, having adventures. Those are all things that I cherish and value very much. But the best thing about it is you do not have to go through your stress and problems alone. You can come together and brainstorm as a group with your friends. You can share war stories and laugh about it at the end and leave refreshed. Sometimes all you need is to just get around a good set of buddies and have a good time. And finally, but most importantly of all, Get out there and do something fun. Have a good time. Grab your family. Most of the time we spend all day in the house. We spend all day at work just doing the same mundane things every day. Grab your family. Go to Legoland. Go to Disneyland. Save up for a trip and take it. At the end of the day, if you're not having fun with your family, get together with your boys. Get together with your girls. Go out and have a good time. Go shooting, go dancing, you know, hang out at the mall, catch a movie, whatever it takes to just kind of get your mind off of the day-to-day -day mundane things that we have to do as adults, get out there and do it. And also, most of the time, as adults, we neglect the simple things that we are able to do. Not only the youngsters are able to go out and have fun, we are able to do the same thing. It's like you said, go out and dance. If you don't know how, I will not be going out and dancing. <laughs> we not have that thing. My favorite thing is to go on Yelp. I am a huge Yelper, and I use Yelp for pretty much any outing that I go on, especially with my friends. I like to go on Yelp and look up different activities that we've never done before. Different breweries, tasting rooms that we haven't been to, different restaurants with different types of food that we never tried before, different types of infusion, and especially places that have different types of spirits that we've never tried before. I'm personally the cigar guy. I love getting out there, going to the cigar lounges. I like taking the cigar smoking experience out and about and making it something other than just sitting around, you know, and always it being a social environment, whether it's making videos for you guys or going out and having a smoke when you're on a camping trip, on a, you know, going out on a hike, going to the beach. I bring this experience with me everywhere I go. But before we get out of here, guys, we want to let you know what we're smoking. Today I was having the Gurkha 125. Brother Stogie, what are you smoking? The Camacho Corojo. How is it? Right now, nice and smooth. First drag was peppery and hot, but it's cool now. <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining us on the Cigar Titan YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Let us know some of the ways you like to relax, unwind, and clear your head. Until next time, Cigar Family, live how you smoke, smoke how you live, and that's smooth, baby. Take care, everybody.